The free-to-play offerings on the PlayStation 4 are about to expand even more as a brand new Battle Royale title is hitting the PS4 in the free-to-play BR in Don't Even Think for PlayStation 4 launches July 10th, and it's coming from the developer Dark Horse Game Studio. We'll talk all about that. Unfortunately, while that's coming very soon, one game that won't be coming very soon is Digimon Survive. That has unfortunately been delayed until 2020, and the opening movie for the game was shown at the Anime Expo 2019 panel. Also, we've got some details on Code Vein, we got the opening animation reveal for the game, and by the way, if you're excited for Code Vein, check that out because it is absolutely ridiculous. It was produced by Ufitable, the guys that also did the Fate anime series and the guys that are doing the Demon Slayer anime right now. Their production values are top-notch, and they're really going all out for the Code Vein opening animation video. And also, we got the announcement of the Revenant bundle. I'll give you guys all of the details on that. And lastly, we've got some details on Remedy Entertainment's next title in Control. It's going to be around 15 to 20 hours long, and that's for the the critical path completion and a few side missions here and there we'll talk about that at the end of this video as control is a game that's really going under the radar and i feel like it deserves a little bit more attention all right first up the free-to-play battle royale title and don't even think will launch for the playstation 4 in north america on july 10th announced by publisher perfect world games and developer dark horse studio here's an overview of the game from the official website the game is set in 2037 80 the world economy is in a recession political turmoil is rife natural disasters escalate with intensity and social stability is on the verge of a collapse possessing core technologies in various essential fields such as communications military ai and biopharmaceuticals deti has been become the world's largest and foremost security company. To meet demands of its employer nations, DETI has established a comprehensive research base named Prism City on an unspecified peninsula. Here, all kinds of extreme disasters are simulated in the most realistic of conditions. So kind of a interesting background to just set the premise of a battle royale title, but nonetheless, the game's key features tell join the DETI, we provide everything you want it. Take a look at what the world outside has turned to. You gotta be quick on your feet, you know damn well what they can offer you. You want your family to worry about your life uh, join us we provide everything you've wanted man up this will be your new life now it doesn't matter where you're from what merits you've earned in the past whether you were homeless bullied bankrupt or a criminal here you do what you're supposed to do you'll never get what you wanted standing like a fool there fired a gun before or you are waiting for me to pray for you get your ass to the battlefield go get shot lose a few parts you'll never get what you wanted standing like a fool here shut up hold your breath and don't bite the bullets remember curiosity kills the cat you see the tower don't even think about climbing it weird scene don't wet your pants uh, shut up hold your breath and don't bite the bullet the official playstation youtube channel did upload a trailer for the game looks relatively interesting looks like they're putting a spin on the battle royale formula but nonetheless it will be a free-to-play game and don't even think which has been a general premise of the description of the game where you're not supposed to think just huddle down and do it'll be dropping on the ps4 in north america on july 10th so that'll be an interesting game to check out the battle royale market obviously is a little flooded right now with games like fortnite apex legends pub G and a lot of other titles, but as we saw with Apex Legends, man, if a game comes in here and it delivers some quality and some streamers stake to it and a lot of people are playing it, it can snowball and become a major game. I'm not saying don't even think it's gonna become that, but hey, the possibility is always there and I don't think many were expecting Apex Legends to be as big as it turned out to be, although it has diminished a little bit, but nonetheless, you guys get what I'm saying. All right, moving on from that, while Don't Even Think is dropping July 10th and we'll be able to play it very soon, unfortunately, Digimon Survive is not a game we'll be playing very soon as it has unfortunately been delayed until 2020. Originally, we thought that the game would be coming in 2019. Bandai Namco has delayed Digimon Survive from its previously planned 2019 release window to 2020. The company announced at the Future of Digimon panel at the Anime Expo 2019. It will be available for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. A five plus minute opening movie was shown during the panel, but but it has yet to be uploaded online, so hopefully that'll be uploaded soon. And if you're unfamiliar of Digimon Survive, if you are a fan of Digimon, this is a game you should absolutely know about. Celebrating the 20th anniversary of the Digimon anime, Digimon Survive presents a brand new adventure set in a mysterious world with characters designed by Yuichi Yukimo and music by the much acclaimed Tomooki Miyoshi. Digimon Survive sees a brand new group of teenagers led by Takuma Momozuka get lost on a school camping trip, find themselves transported to a strange new world of monsters and danger. As they fight their way back home through an animated world of difficult decisions and deadly battles, players' choices throughout the game will impact the evolution of their monsters, allies, and the final ending. Battles in the game are fought in 2D in a more classic strategy RPG style. The gameplay itself is reminiscent to more so strategy RPGs, a game like FF Tactics or something like that. Visually, it looks great, and for a 
Digimon fan like myself, I'm incredibly excited for the game. A little bit of a bummer that it won't be dropping in 2019. Hopefully it does turn out to be an early 2020 game. But if this is adding to the repertoire of games that are dropping early 2020, man, I am a little bit scared with games like the Final Fantasy VII Remake, Cyberpunk 2077, Watch Dogs Legion, and so many other games dropping early 2020. Throw Digimon Survive into that pile of game. Man, it's getting a little bit scary in terms of how many games we have to play in early 2020. But nonetheless, more games the better. I just hope one like Digimon Survive doesn't go too under the radar. As for fans of Digimon, it's going to be a game I think very worthwhile checking out. The Digimon Story games were pretty good. And hopefully Digimon Survive can continue the path of quality Digimon titles. As for a while, Digimon has been absent for a long time. Of course, Digimon does often see comparisons to Pokemon. And as far as the story games are concerned, Cyber Sleuth as well as Hacker's Memory, those were very good games. Obviously not as popular as the Pokemon titles, but nonetheless, I thought they were pretty good games in their own right. And from a storytelling standpoint, standpoint i think they have been much stronger than pokemon titles but that's just my two cents now we're looking forward to digimon survive and it does look to be released sometime in 2020 okay moving on from that another game that had a big presence at the anime expo 2019 is code vein yes bandai namco's next title will finally be out on september 26th it looks to be some sort of anime presented souls like game don't really know how to describe it but it is shaping up very nicely and this is a game we have been waiting on for quite a while it was originally supposed to release last year it actually had the release date of i believe september 24th so it got delayed nearly a year and whenever we see long delays like this i'm always a little bit skeptical however code vein is still shaping up very nicely and we got the opening animation draw for the game and wow does it look amazing obviously from an animation standpoint being produced by ufa Tabil, it looks insane and the music is also incredible i highly recommend you guys to check that out because it looks stunning the company and bandai namco also announced a bandai namco store exclusive revenant bundle edition of the game which includes a copy of the game metal case, a Mia figurine, a digital soundtrack, and a digital art book. Pre-orders are live right now, and you can pre-order this edition for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. If you guys are unfamiliar with what Code Vein is, here is a quick description. In the face of certain death, we rise. Team up and embark on a journey to the ends of hell to unlock your past and escape your living nightmare in Code Vein. Death may feel permanent, but your loadout doesn't have to. Change your character class at any time, unlock the ability to mix and match skills, or choose different NPCs to partner with, all of which could make the difference between life and death. Throughout the game, you'll unite to survive featuring a story-driven, connected dungeon experience, dive into the world of Code Vein, create your own character, and choose your partner as you venture out into a world of destruction overrun by the lost. Change the feel of the game depending on which partner you choose, each with their own combat style and background story. Again, Code Vein is scheduled for release on September 26th. Alright, and lastly, I do want to give you guys a little bit of a heads up on Control. This is a game that is dropping on August 27th, and not a lot of people are talking about it. It's Remedy Entertainment's next game, the guys that also did Alan Wake and Quantum Break. And over on Gaming Vault, they have some insight from the developers over at Remedy. And when asked about how long an average playthrough of the game would be, they said that they don't have an exact number right now. But they also noted it's a complicated and large game and can be played through in a multiple of different ways. They also noted it's going to be roughly 15 to 20 hours long if you finish the campaign and do a few side missions along the way. 15 to 20 hours actually seems rather lengthy for a game like Control. If you go back and play Alan Wake, Alan Wake is a game that you could complete in 6 to 7 hours, and that was really one of the major issues with Alan Wake. It was a game that was released at a full $60 price point, but it was only 6 to 7 hours long, and I think that was one of the main reasons why a lot of people were off-put in actually picking up the game. In the case of Quantum Break, it's also a relatively short experience, and I wouldn't say that it's around 15 to 20 hours. Now, let's be real, if you play Control at, say, the easiest difficulty, and you bum rush your way through the game, you can probably complete it in less than 15 hours. I generally find that to be the case whenever one of these developers say that, oh, our game has 15 to 20 hours of content. Well, if you do bum rush through the game, obviously it's going to be a lot quicker. But nonetheless, 15 to 20 hours of content, and that's only doing a few side missions and not all of them? That seems pretty good for Control, and hopefully that'll add a little bit of excitement for the game as we are getting closer and closer to its release, which is just a little over a month away. Yes, Control is going to be out in just a little over a month, and to me, I'm looking at this game as the kickstart to all of the big game releases coming this fall. Shortly after Control, we've got games like Borderlands 3, we've got games like Code Vein, and that huge wave of games is going to be kicked off with Control, so hopefully Remedy does deliver with it, and they're looking to offer a 15 to 20 hour experience, and that's only for the critical path and a few side missions. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, the free-to-play Battle Royale title, and don't even think for PlayStation 4 launches July 10th in North America. Digimon Survive has been unfortunately delayed until 
official 2020 Code Veins opening video has been released and it looks awesome. A Revenant bundle edition is also coming and it looks like Control is going to be 15 to 20 hours long. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.